Caching and prefetching are two important factors to consider when evaluating your site's performance. With the XCN, you can reduce origin server costs by leveraging caching while also remaining five seconds ahead of the customer with prefetching at the edge. Prefetching will benefit your customer's experience by fetching content ahead of time, so the next page transition is instant. However, prefetching too much content can hinder the experience by using unnecessary bandwidth, possible cache eviction, or blocking of more important content such as scripts or images. It's important to find an equal balance such as only prefetching content visible to the user. Let's walk through how you can set up XDM prefetching in your project. I'm going to use our Next.js example to demonstrate prefetching with the XDN. You can find the full source code under the Next.js guide at developer.moveweb.com. So with the app running in dev mode, let's take a look at the current request behavior. When we land on the subcategory page, we see that the list of products are available but nothing's being prefetched as we can see here in the XDN dev tools. So as I click on each product, it needs to complete the request before transitioning to the next page. Ideally, we'd like to prefetch all the products visible to the user since it's the next anticipated click. So let's switch back to the code and add our prefetch logic to the subcategory page. The XDN React package has a prefetch component out of the box that we can use to handle this. The base implementation just requires us to import the component and wrap it around our link element we wish to prefetch. We also need to define the route that's being prefetched in our router. Without this, the service worker will not attempt to prefetch the content. We can see in this product request the route that would typically be matched had it been defined in the router. So we can copy this and go back to our router definition. Just add this in here. And add our cache handler. And clear the stats just so we can get a clean view of everything. And as you can see on that refresh, we now have our different products being prefetched. There is one caveat to these request URLs when using get server side props in Next.js, and that is the param name of the next route is appended to the URL. And in order for prefetching to be successful, the prefetched URL has to match exactly to the actual request being made. So let me put these two request URLs side by side to get a clearer view. So there's two differences here. In the prefetched URL, we have an XDM prefetch param that is automatically added by the service worker. This is ignored by the XDN, so we'll ignore it here. The main difference is the name param being appended. Because our prefetched URL didn't include this param, it will be a cache miss and result on our prefetch being ignored. However, we can override the URL prop of the prefetch component to include the param. So I'll build the URL from the ground up, which includes the build ID, relative product URL, and the appended parameter. Let's switch back to the subcategory page, clear the cache, and do a page refresh to see the products being prefetched. Now, as we navigate between subcategories and products, our content is already available, resulting in light and fast page transition. For additional resources and more advanced concepts around caching and prefetching, visit developer.moveweb.com.